So the first two things kind of go hand in hand. Uh, the 70s trend is really on point. Uh, I found this at Pueblo. I do not know how much more. It is originally by Forever 21. Super cute. It has those blues and greens. And it is also knitted. You can always like layer over top of fun shirts. That's what I do. Okay. And this shirt kind of goes in hand in hand with it. So it has that baby doll style. And yeah, it is the, also a trend is dark florals. So this is a perfect sample for that. And it kind of goes with the 70s theme too. I got this also a good look, probably the same day. One thing about this shirt is that it is still new with tags, so <clears throat> you can always find new stuff at thrift stores. This shirt was originally $78 and I got it for $8. So yeah, that's a lot. But yeah, it is super cute. So yeah. 70s and the dark floral trend. Another thing I like about the dark floral is that it has this like romantic gothic feel. So if you've ever seen that kind of art, that's what it makes me think of it. and I absolutely love this. And I love the other floral print too. I just like, this one, what I like about this one is definitely the blue flowers and how it sits on you like it. It goes in right here and it flares out, and that's what looks good. So yeah, first two trends. The next two items we're gonna be talking about is some of the color palette of fall and maybe winter. The first thing that we talk about is this red shirt. I never actually liked red until I found this shirt and this shirt. Um, one thing I like about it is the pattern on it. It gives me like the tribal print or the tribal vibes and also the Charlie Brown vibes. I don't know why, but it's just like the little stick drawings. So maybe that's why it kind of reminds me of that. So yeah, it's a button up, it's suede. And yeah, I found this at a local thrift store. So yeah, one of the first things that I actually decided to put right into my clothes or in my closet besides in this shirt. The next color palette I also found this at the same thrift store. It is this Tommy Hilfiger um, mustard sweater type of deal. This is totally 90s days. Shirts were so popular back then or the 2000s era. And I remember I had one of these from Hollister. It was blue. Yeah. But I really like this one. I really like the color. It has that like feel to it. It's warmer. So yeah. Another color that I thought was also very trendy, which I thought was this personal, uh, is orange. I really liked it orange. I bought so many orange things and I've been wearing it a lot. This is also brand new. It is by The Limited. It is like a cross shirt like this and it's super soft, nice and flowy. Yeah, it's so new. That still has the uh, extra large sticker on it. So yeah, I just really love this orange. It is like burnt pumpkin, pumpkin-y orange. So yeah, so my three top choice of the color palettes for fall and winter. So my next two trends that I found, that I think and I found, wow, at the thrift store is a mesh bodysuit. Body suits are very in right now, and I actually found mine at the thrift store. I was really shocked to see this there. I found it at St. Finney's. So, yeah, I tried it on, and I'm like, holy crap, I love it. And this one's really fancy to me, but you can make it casual somehow. But I really like the pattern, the thing right here of the floral. This is mesh all the way around. Long sleeve, super cute. I work for Halloween. <laughs> so yeah, mesh is still in also, I believe. See through shirts. And bodysuits. 
And the next shirt that's been popular is Velvet. I found this Velvet shirt at the local thrift store. It just reminds me of a, a top part of a ballet tutu. No, ballet leotard. That's how it goes with the neckline. It is really cute, super soft, quarter length sleeves, and yeah, skin heavy. So velvet, 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 and lish tops. So the next two trends that I found super trendy is actually cargo pants. Cargo pants are coming back. Mine are olive green. I found these at St. Finney's. And they are very nice and stretchy. They're super high waisted, which I love. They're more like a lagging kind of feel because there's no like zipper. It's just like stretchy stuff. And they have pockets going all the way down. Super cute. Like They're by Jessica in London. So yeah, cargo pants, army style. Yeah. The next thing that I found that's super trendy is uh, patchwork denim. I found this skirt at Goodwill. It's originally by H&M. I never thought H&M would design a brat doll type of skirt. This is super cute and I just had to get it because it looks so like cool. Like here's the back. It's actually missing a pocket because the pocket's actually right here. <gasps> So yeah, super cute, super fun. Totally need to wear this soon. I haven't worn it yet. I was saving it for this video. So yeah, just love it. Now we're getting into some trousers. I never thought I would like trousers, but I decided to pick some up actually. So my first pair of trousers are these white ones. They are so business casual. And I absolutely love these. And they are crop, which I loved. I don't know why they brown there because these are brand new from HM. Like, seriously? Like, what was wrong with these? Because these are actually perfect. Like, perfect, perfect, perfect. The next trouser I had, and what is also in trend, is plaid. I've been seeing lots of plaid this fall. These are so cute. I also found these at the Goodwill too. I just love the color scheme of these. Of these ones. They're by a Target brand. And yeah, they are size 6. So, yeah. But, I can squeeze. I just love the pink and the navy together with a little bit of green and orange. So they're just perfect for fall and winter. If you want to wear them in to winter. The next trouser is a cheetah print trouser and I love these. I found these at St. Finney's. They did have a stain on them but luckily the stain came out and these are so cute on. And yeah I just love cheetah print. Like cheetah print is like the new thing like the cheetah girls are coming back in style. Like seriously, they are. Never thought I would like cheetah print. I always thought it was kind of trashy. But if you see it enough and then you know, like, maybe I do kind of like this and want to try it out for myself. So yeah, trousers, cheetah print, and plaid. The next two trends are, I'm gonna start off with metallic. I haven't been seeing this much, but a lot of people mention metallic in videos. But I never see it on Instagram or anything like that. But I decided to add them to my video. <laughs> so these are really cool. They're by degree, so they're vintage because they're from JC Pennies. Because JC Pennies is like vintage now because they close. And these are like gold jeans. I really like these a lot. Because I like gold. Gold is like one of my four favorite colors. And they're just skinny jeans, which is what I love. Mid rise. Yeah. And I just love the gold 
shining on them. But I found these at Goodwill. No way. I think so, yes. Goodwill. Okay. The next trend I found is also from Goodwill. There are these old navies. Oh no no no. Gap. Gap uh quarter wide. Uh flare jeans. These are actually flare jeans. They're really cool. I never thought I would like these. And I thought they would be really big because they're a size 16. But they actually fit me. It's called the perfect boot. It has flares at the end. So yeah, they are flared. Look at all the flare. I still don't know how to style flare yet with shoes. But I'll figure it out. And they are tan. They're like my first pair ever of tan jeans. I never had khakis or this color of jeans before. So yeah. So these would be fun to style soon. So the next two trends I'm going to start off with. A leisure wear. I never thought I will like a leisure wear until this year too. Um, I really like Adidas leisure wear because of the stripes. Yes. So these ones are pink, they are cropped. I found these at Goodwill and I absolutely love these because they're pink. And I thought they would go very well paired with this next top. Turtlenecks are in. Dramatic long huge sleeves are in. And so is the teddy bear textured is in. So one sweater, three trends. Trends. So yeah, this shirt is originally by Marisa's, and this tag is so old, like, I've never seen this tag before, so you know that this is an old sweater, but it still looks pretty good. I found this at St. Finney's, so yeah, and also pink, it is also on the color palette for fall, light pink especially, so yeah. The next trend is coming back. It's always here every season. It is the chunky sweater. And this one's from American Eagle. I got from Goodwill. I just love the buttons on it and how it like it is super oversized. Like it is huge on me. And it has cute little pockets right here. So yeah. Especially white chunky knits are super in right now. Cause that's what I've been seeing and it's what I've been pairing stuff with. So yeah, it has like all the cable knits and knots and stuff in it. The next trend is totally for fur coats, fur vests, any kind of fur. This is my fur. I really like this actually because it's like a toned down version of fur. Toned down version of fur vests coat thing. Super cute. It will go well with many things. Add that little extra spice to your outfit. Another fur trend has been Shirley trend that I've been seeing everywhere on coats. And this one happens to be like a cardigan style. It is really cute. Huge. Huge and it's also very nice and warm. And actually, this purple is also in for the color palette for the fall. I found this at the logo thrift store. It's from Denim and Company, so it's really good quality. And I absolutely love this. So yeah, this would be perfect for like if you don't want to be too like have a big heavy coat on. So this is like nice because it's thin, but it's also really like, well, insulated for the winter. So this will be perfect if you're like going out and you don't want to wear like a huge coat. The next trend that will always be here to stay is Mola jackets. I finally found a black Mola jacket that I actually liked from Goodwill from like downstate so yeah sort of behind this they were closing in 10 minutes I went in and I found it and I got out I got it for ten dollars so yeah I absolutely love the gold hardware on it 
the gold hardware on it. And it also had like gold specks in between the um, this part. I don't know what this part is, but yeah. So it's not all flax leather, just the arms and some of the back. And that's it. And it also has really cute gold metal buttons right here, buckles. So this is by BCBG Generation. So I've never heard of this brand, but this jacket is just killing it. Okay. We're down to the last two trends. And the first one I'm going to start off is with this beautiful coat. I don't know what this material is called, but trench coats, blazer style trench coats have been super in. This is really long and it's kind of huge and I like that. Um, I really love the gold colors in it with the burnt orange and gold and white. I thought it was awesome. It's by Pludge. I don't know what this brand is, but it's brand new. I got it for $14.95, but I had a coupon, so it's only $5. And yeah, I don't know why they priced this up because I've never heard of it before. So, yep. Just love the colors in this. This is like my favorite thing in colors. I also have that business type wear. So, look nice and sleek walking. And the last trend is this print. I don't know what this print is called, but I've been seeing it everywhere and I absolutely love this print. And this is by Catherine B. Clay. I got this from Goodwill over the summer, which is crazy. I saw this and I needed it, like, now. So, yeah. I absolutely love the mustard yellow on it, but you can also take it off buttons so this be a plain jacket but I like the extra color to it. I might try out to see what it's like without it though. So yeah.